Good morning. We're so glad you're here with Haley Vaughn. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Well, it is Marathon Day Dopey 2023. Fourth Dopey. Sixth Marathon for me. So, yeah, my recovery sandals I'm gonna put in Carolyn's gear check. It's cold. And I forgot my Mylar. My Martin's energy drink and a bag of snacks. The cool thing about staying in one of the DVC buildings at the Poly is they're both fairly close to the TTC walkway. It's actually like right next to the TTC walkway. And that's cool because when you stay here you have to take the monorail. So rather than taking the monorail all the way around the loop to get to the TTC to get off and to get on Epcot, I just take right here this walking path. And on the other side of this walking path is the TTC. There it is, there's the finish line. I'll be running this track a little later today. The last morning. I'm gonna take a long walk out to the corrals again today. Let's see who's here. Oh, Jane is out. Tarzan. We got Prince Ali. Esmeralda, Herc. And Jane. We're on our pre 5K before our marathon walk out to the corrals. <laughs> I found my pal Carolyn. Hello. We got our coffees. One more. Katie is around here somewhere. She's mentally preparing in her own way, in her own sphere. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're gonna run a little bit today. I'm gonna run a little bit. Uh, I just, it's so much fun that do, you guys so have been like here supporting us for all these years with Dopies and Chicago like Marathon, 50Ks. But now I've got like a group of friends that are at the run Disney and we're all different levels of athleticism and experience. And no, it's all just fun. And look at my hair. Oh, my sunglasses are okay. This is a lot of fun. Youngsters. Woo. Cold morning. It's gonna heat up though. They're doing something different this year. They're having us going to Epcot before we go to MK. Which I kinda like. It gives us a little taste of a park before just driving, running World Jot. But there's that big uphill before the Epcot parking lot. In the first two miles, like, a little, a little rough, but if you're going to a future world, space your birth, a little hill isn't going to hurt anybody, right? The Brookharts are officially on the move to spectate and to cheer on all the Run Disney runners. Oh. You guys, I love this just as much as Peter. Okay, I got Teddy still asleep in the carrier. I doubt he'll stay awake much longer as it gets loud and runners come through because I have heard cheering. Um, I got James in the stroller. We're headed to the TTC, my favorite spot to spectate. Like, the runners are excited to get to Magic Kingdom. They're not like too far into the race, so they're like, that like magic of 
just getting out of the corrals is still still in there might be hurting but not too bad yet it's a fabulous fabulous spot to spectate my number one recommendation if you're going to spectate Ooh, here comes the trail racer. You gotta stop for Oogie Boogie. Are you kidding me? Ooh, today we have Flick and the Princess. How fun. Over 10K done, feeling good. Relatively level from here on out for the majority of the race now. But Sarah's at TGC, can't wait to see her and the boys. First time I'm seeing them during the weekend and can't wait to give them all hugs and kisses. You know what? You gotta do it, right? As Bennett said, it's gotta be done. Shoot it up, and then it's Magic Kingdom. Sunrise Magic Kingdom, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I love it. Okay, we have Dopey meeting right here. We actually have friends that are meeting him right now, so I wanted to get them in a clip. Yes! Keep it up, wonderful job! Oh my gosh, how special! How Special. Alrighty, we're at the 20k mark. We're on the lookout for Team Determination Singlet. Okay, we got Rescue Rangers up here, right at the mile 12 mark. Coming up in Grand Fla. Gonna see Sarah and the boys again. Last time before the end. I mean, I have a whole other half marathon to run, but I'll see them as a finish. Hey! Okay, we saw Daddy again. We're eating croissants. We're snacking, we're enjoying, having the time of our life. And um, we're gonna wait here at Grand Floridian and see Carolyn. Um, I'm also checking Katie Petrus. We don't have, we're, we're, the next time we see Peter we'll be at the finish line. Um, so we have a little bit of time, just a little bit. We're gonna go back to the room, change, then get over to Epcot. But not before we see more friends first. We saw Patrick, who you saw, who ran with Peter yesterday, his wife, Allison. She joined me. I happened to bump into her at the poly. She kind of helped me get resituated as I headed over here and then I got to cheer with her. So that was super special. So a lot of people along the route just, oh my gosh. This is like one of the best days of the year. And I'm just so grateful that we get to be here. I have been in my feels all morning and eventually, hopefully, I'll have the time to express them, but wow. Okay, I'm, we're in the part that I is my worst mental challenge. The service roads between the Magic Kingdom and El Kino. Um, Max and Goofy are doing the eye to eye dance photo op right here. Are you kidding me? This is exactly what I need in my life right now. All right, sun is up, mile 15, Animal Kingdom soon. We're in the thick of it now, my friends. We are in the freaking thick of it. I'm peekaboo. I'm peekaboo. <laughs> I'm Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. Oh. Go, Go Runners! Oh. Woo! Yay! Hi, here comes Carolyn right now. Oh. Carolyn! Woohoo! Go, Go, Go! You got this! Woo! Yay! 
Oh, yeah, she looks great. Can you see her? Can you see her? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Making an into Animal Kingdom at Third Park. Thank you. Whew. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? I think so. Let's do it. That's awesome. All right, mile 20, almost at Blizzard Beach. All right, call my buddy Steve from Tampa to help me get through a half mile because my stomach is hurting. And then I was like, hey! Hey, hey! My man Pat's are coming in. We're both in the pain cave right now, having different issues. His feet are shot, my stomach is shot with a pain I've never had during running, but that's what keeps you feeling your feet during races. So we're, we're helping each other together. All right, officially have been in all four parks now. We are by the Fantasmic stage and nearing mile marker 23. If you've been around a little bit, you know what that means if you haven't. Mr. Ryan, Sue, Let's go. go for a quick 5K and bring this home. I gotta see your grandbabies. Give them a bunch of sweaty hugs and kisses. Thank you for changing my life forever and giving me a special kind of love that I never thought I'd find. It's time for a quick 5K. Woo! All right, I'm in the most glamorous place beneath the bleachers. <laughs> But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to feed the bay. Um, but the, the pathway from the Grand Floridian to the Pali was too narrow for the stroller. So we had to take the monorail all the way around and it stops at the resorts and the end of kingdom. And so we didn't go back to the room, which was fine because I was able to change the boys when we got to Epcot. Um, so we're fresh, all snacking, and Peter only has a 5K left. Fueling before the finish line. <laughs> Alright, mile 24. Two miles left. Guess what? Home field advantage right here. I can't wait to hear the thumping on my <sighs> bricks of feet smacking the boardwalk. Crescent Lake for the win. Just soaking up these views before this hill. Yeah, yeah my legs are like, just lay down. It's a world showcase. Boom. Almost done with my fourth dopey. Patrick's up there. He's faster than me, but he's hurting like me. So he's progressively getting slightly ahead. Wow. All right, we're about to enter World Showcase. Soul Pump coming in by UK. It's 10 a.m. A little better time for a beer, I think, from Rose and Crown, maybe. All right, so Rose and Crown wasn't open. We'll see about somewhere else. I think this is like the last hill. I mean, there's a cool breeze. It's a character some flight back there. Come on. All right, mile 25. Let's go, one more. All right, none of the actual bars I see are open, so you know what? I take matters in my own hands. I know they sell cans of Schaffenhofer in here, or bottles. I want to do two things. Go on Everest and get a beer. It loves me a black and tan, but hey, if it's from my heritage, it's gonna be a Schaffenhofer. All right, we'll showcase. Thank you for taking care of me. This is the last chapter of the Dopey Marathon 2023. Time to head to Future World and head to that finish line. Hey, this looks familiar. It was dark last time I was here a few hours ago. And there we have it. Mile 26. Just past the choir. Finish shoot. Just 
like that, we're done. I mean, I gotta go get my other medals, but dopey, fourth dopey in the bag. For anybody watching who wants to do this one day, if you're just a marathoner, you go that way, and if you're ridiculous and you're a goofy challenge or a dopey challenge, you go this way to get your medals. They're so, they're so tired for you, they both fell asleep. <laughs> Look at these kids. You had so much fun today cheering on daddy. <coughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, so many friends, got to see. So we are back at our resort and I would planned on, you know, gushing about Peter as I have in the years past this special weekend. Um, and the reason I couldn't all day was because I was taking care of our two beautiful children earth side with us and I just feel like that is so fitting Peter's showering now so I can get my little tidbit in like I would out and about so yeah it's something this weekend means so much to us if you're new here Peter started running to um, just be more aware of his health as we headed into fertility treatments as we neared two years of trying um, to have kids and not being successful James is just Walking around the table. Teddy's being goofy over here. So forgive me if I have to cut and start again. <laughs> and so I think it was 2018, he was watching, we were cheering people on. Kind of by accident, we were just going to um, to Disney and we saw you know, the run Disney was going on and Peter decided at um, the beach club, he was watching, he said, I'm gonna do that. Um, my dad was the runner and in order to do that first dopey, he found a charity because the bibs were all sold out. And it was American Cancer Society that we decided to fundraise for that first dopey. And we had no idea that we were going to, you know, create a lifelong relationship with so many wonderful people from ACS and continue and fundraise. But not to do a whole history lesson here, back to Peter. He runs in honor of my parents, which is so special. Um, when we first started, we had only lost my dad to melanoma um, and in 2021 we very suddenly lost my mom to um, stomach cancer and this has become a weekend that is just a no-brainer that we do and I like have to remind Peter <laughs> you're so sweet I have to remind Peter that we've made this extraordinary thing an ordinary thing usually we're making the ordinary extraordinary um, and yeah, it's just something we kind of go into these weekends. I'm like, this is a big deal. Like, this is worth celebrating. And I thank you all for all of your encouragement and for watching and for being here and understanding and like cheering him on and like getting that this is a big deal. And it's his fourth, his fourth time doing this. Um, and this time I got to bring our two little ones around everywhere. Four is my dad's favorite number. So this kind of always felt, um, like a special, a special one. Even extra so with these two joining me today. And they were, it was just an incredible day. I, I certainly will never forget today. But I think that that's like such a telling thing about Peter. Like he's had a lot of guilt this trip because of how much I've had to take on with the kids and packing and editing and you got BB-8. Um, just how I've kind of like made things happen when he's had to rest or he's had to fuel or roll and run. It's a huge time commitment when you're on a trip like this, if you're ever considering it. It's a lot, um, it's different than a normal Disney vacation. But we, we fundraise and we, you know, do the vlog and take on so much. But like, I, I think anyone who knows Peter um, will tell you that he is just, a special special person and um, you know there's a lot that we don't necessarily share on the vlog and just like the best way I can like describe Peter is that he's just like a being all his own he's just unique and he's kind and he's passionate and he is goofy and, and 
and everyone has a better time when Peter is there. And I think that goes to say, like, during his runs, he's cheering other people on. <laughs> I just had to do a quick teddy break because he's being so stinking cute. Um, he is just truly just beyond strong and beyond um, stubborn. <laughs> and he just really enjoys, you know, making, I don't know, like making things special. And he's just like, him and my mom are like very, very much alike. And they had like a, an extremely special bond where, you know, they could talk about um, so much. And that's kind of going off topic. Just they were, I feel like they were also meant to find each other in a lot of ways. And we uh, we talk a lot about my dad during these and bef obviously before I was, you know, just a quick 5K comes from my dad and his strength and um, why we found American Cancer Society. But so much of what um, Peter accomplishes on the course and in training and in life honors her as well. And um, they would like, I think like the word is like self-actualized. And I think there's an old soul, you know, element to it, but it's also just a, a confidence and um, an accountability. Like just like people that you, you know through and through can, um, can and will be there for you and in so many different ways. And it's just, it's really special to be Peter's partner and I'm very honored to share our family with, you know, in this way. And um, never imagined we'd be honoring my mom through American Cancer Society and running in her honor too. And I just, I can't believe um, neither of them are here to see this. You know, what we've made for ourselves. It's just, it's, it's something else. And I know they're here. <gasps> what? Come on up. No. What? But quickly, cause I can hear, I can no. hear. What, there's a new one. I can hear Peter coming out. What's so special about even Peter and I's relationship is like, he knows how proud we are of him. He knows that I love doing everything to make, you know, to make what he has to do easier and for us to be able to do this. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Was it so fun watching dad? Oh, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. What are you doing? So years ago when we were, you know, in the thick of infertility, I would say, I would say that I wish that future Sarah could just tell me that things were gonna work out. I would say I would do anything, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to reach our children. I just wanted to know that it was going to happen. I just needed, like I wanted that reassurance and like in the moments where I would lose hope, um, Peter absolutely never did. And obviously we have highs and lows throughout, but um, he just truly always like full heartedly believed and that really, you know, helped me, you know, over, over the mountains that, that we went through. And so we, you know, we were in our check-in day glory. Um, and as he was hugging me, he said, you know, I, I told you that, that this would happen. This day would come. And um, that's what this weekend has been for us is just this surreal, you know, dream that we chased and yearned and fought for for so long and so Peter Peter is a rock star and um, I'm I'm just I'm so happy that we are going to be able to celebrate him on this cruise as a family and finally finally get there um, and yeah just life with you Peter is better than what um, what I could have ever hoped for. <laughs> What's going on? Are you guys proud of your dad? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh gosh, we all are. Alrighty, our resort feast post race. That was fun. Cheeseburger. This is like the perfect kid's meal for James because he loves pineapple, loves tomatoes, loves chicken. Peter got a burger and I got pulled pork. And a bonus mac and cheese. He wanted, he asked to go on that everybody. I don't keep him in there like jail. Resting. We're gonna go to Epcot bye bye. tonight and enjoy some harmonious bye before we bye. come back and like get ready for the cruise. What are you saying? Bye bye. Crawling your your big kid, you get in the stroller all by yourself. Let me get you strapped in. Off to Epcot via monorail. So, we're just like not used to staying at Holly. <gasps> <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> wow. This is such an underrated thing to do. Monorail. When you take a monorail to Epcot, you go through the park. Wait. Oh, you're so nice to your brother. Hello. Mesmerized by the glorious yes, a spaceship. Bird. Wow! If this isn't the most perfect way to start an Epcop evening, Epcop, Epcop. Teddy's getting in on my metal game, chewing on it. So we went on Spaceship Earth, it was funny, we got stuck in like the Sistine Chapel Alleluia scene for like 10 minutes. Earhearts are actually here, they hopped on it as we were getting off, so we're waiting for them. Uh -huh. We're just gonna chill around World Showcase, enjoy Epcot. It's already 7.20, so we actually don't have too, too much time. And then we begin a uh, cruise prep tonight slash tomorrow morning. Are you ready for a cruise? We thought we were just gonna bring a pregnant Sarah with Jamesy. Then we thought we were going to bring a Jamesy. Now we're bringing a Jamesy and a Teddy. It's like four years in the making of this cruise. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Alrighty, we're into pigment. Thank you! Here we go! Figment, you are not to interfere with the chalk! and the festival tents are up and the booth names are on display. Wow, we got fish and chips. So we might, we might just stay here for fireworks. They just lit the torches. Like, because it's cold here and Oh no, oh no. It's harmonious time. Oh gosh, Teddy's gonna get you. No, no! <laughs> and their magic band pluses are turning on. We are calling it, we are moseying to the monorail, saying goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful spaceship Earth and saying goodbye Disney Parks. I love that ride. 
ride. We'll be back in like six days. I love that ride. You love that ride? Yes. Did you go on it today? Yes. Did you know I was on it right before you and we got stuck? Oh, yes. Woo! Move it, Cam. Move it. Booyah. It's get it, get it, get it, get it. It's a spaceship earth bag. Yes. <laughs> Let me do that. It is a... I would say like that's the chapter close right there. Like I know we still have to like edit and get ready and stuff, yeah. but I feel like that's the beginning of the next chapter. Even though we still have a night to sleep at the Poly. Yeah. And then breakfast at the Poly in the morning. But so we just said bye to the Earhearts, they're going back to their resort, we're going back to ours. And they're going to be on the cruise with us. Um, tomorrow, there. That's the next time yeah. we're going to see them. On the cruise ship. Yes. On the boat. Yes. The big boat. Oh gosh. So. We have one sleeping babe. Hopefully, hopefully the other one, one on the walk. Because yeah. we have stuff to do. Yeah. Not too much. No. We're but in really like, good shape. We are, but like Sarah's got to edit tonight and then she's not going to edit a vlog until after yeah. the cruise. So this is the last vlog that will be up for a week. Just yes. So we're gonna do like a okay. mega cool cruise vlog, just yeah. one, yeah. to post after. Yeah. So, and we'll vlog like festival, the arts and all that. It'll just be a little bit delayed once, once we get back. Well, we've been back. Everybody's asleep. The boys went down great. Um, I, after editing today's vlog, I'm just again in awe of our day, and I asked anybody who wished to send Peter some well wishes and congratulations the opportunity to send us video so I'm gonna end the vlog with those um, so thoughtful such an amazing Dolby challenge um, we'll be doing it again next year so thanks for coming along everybody it's good to be home and we'll see you in a week Hey Peter, you don't know me. My name's Chelsea. I live in Tennessee and you motivated me to get into Run Disney Running um, when I first started watching y'all's videos. I haven't had the chance to do a full marathon or anything on location yet. I just do virtual runs, but I think it's awesome and just congratulations. I think that's awesome. You did a great job and I'm so happy for you and your family and everything y'all have accomplished in the last few years. Hey Peter, super huge congrats to you on your most recent Dopey and your sixth marathon. This is awesome. I distinctly remember meeting you and Sarah at the expo in 2019 for uh, Dopey Weekend. And at that time, I remember you guys sharing all about your vlog with me because you were in the midst of your infertility journey. And now like, look at this, 2023, two baby boys who are so darling, six marathons under your belt, four dopies under your belt. You've moved to back to Chicago. You are maybe moving back to Orlando. I don't know that whole story, but like, that's very exciting. Anyway, huge congrats. And of course, on top of it, you've raised like $40 billion for the American Cancer Society. Um, so we are so grateful for you and your efforts, but I personally am just so um, happy to know you and Sarah and your boys and to get to witness all of this in real time and to see all that you have accomplished in just short, uh, four short years is really amazing. So impressive. I hope that you're so proud of yourself. We are proud of you. Huge congrats. Hope to see you guys soon. Happy New Year. Congratulations, Peter, on another amazing dopey. You are such an inspiration. You inspire me not just to run, but to get out and live my dreams and that anything is possible. So sending you lots of congratulations and well wishes from Disneyland Paris. Hey, Peter, I am so proud of you and you truly, truly inspired me. And I love you so much. Keep up the good work. Love you guys. Congratulations, Peter, on completing another baby challenge from the Pumperfield family. Um, I saw Brian and all our friends upstairs. Baby on a baby monitor. And I feel happy for you. He's upstairs, too. Uh, wishing you the best. Uh, we're up and running right now in Chicago, so we're just about to finish up. Um, thank you to you, to Sarah. You've all been such a huge inspiration in our lives as we've navigated our infertility and grief journey. And I'm so thankful for all that you share in your experiences. Put the live stream up, now I'm going to go here with a quick Peloton Disney 5K run. Just a quick 5K. Hi Uncle Peter, good luck. We love you. Say, we love you. Say, love you.
Hey Peter, congratulations on another Dopey. Just wanna let you know that you are such an inspiration for all of us who watch your videos. You and your wife and your family has been just such a beautiful journey to watch and you inspired my run Disney journey. So I did a half marathon in January of 2020 and then in November of 2021, I did the wine and dine half marathon and 10K with my brother. And now in April, my mom and I are going down for springtime surprise weekend. I'm doing all three races. My mom is doing the 5K with me and we're doing yoga beforehand. And my mom is fundraising for ACS for her race. So it's just been a full circle moment. And I'm looking forward to when I can do my first dopey. Maybe next year. We'll see. Congratulations. And thanks so much for inspiring all of us. Hello, Peter Brian Burkott. Congratulations. What an inspiring human you are. I now try to get 10,000 steps in because of you. But due to my recurring uh, swollen leg lymphedema because of my radiation for cancer back in 2015, it is hard, but I try to do my best every day. Way to go, Peter. Congratulations. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you for being such an inspiration. I love watching your videos every day. Hi, Peter. I just want to say um, I hope you win and good job. Hey man, sorry I couldn't join you today. I did get out there for a couple of miles very slowly as we're recovering from COVID, as you can hear. Just wanted to say really quickly, awesome job. Uh, what's even more impressive about this time is now uh, being a great dad, taking care of two kids, continuing to get out there. Um, the struggle is indeed real sometimes. It's really hard, uh, you know, to balance everything that you're balancing out in life. And I am a sweaty mess on just three miles and I couldn't even catch my breath out there. Um, hopefully you get recover soon, get rid of this virus and see you out there during springtime, bro. Congratulations. Hey, Peter, just wanted to wish you luck at the Dopey Challenge. Um, also, we wanted to say how proud we are of you and all the achievements that you've accomplished. Thanks for inspiring us to run. And yeah, you guys are one of the best people on and off screen. So really during this race, Peter, just enjoy the moment because you deserve it and take pictures with all the characters and remember to have fun. Hi, it's Rose here. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is a bit croaky. Um, I just want you to wish um, Peter all the best with his endeavours for all the running he's been doing. Uh, just want to say you guys are amazing. Uh, I've tried to follow you as much as I can and you've been a real inspiration. A real inspiration. As I was saying, a real inspiration. Sorry, got told some more. You take care of yourself. Love you all. Hey Peter, just saying congratulations on completing your fourth Dopey Challenge. Um, someday I'm going to get back into running um, and then we can do another run Disney together. Enjoy the rest of your vacation and your cruise. Talk to you guys soon. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>